We've just spent the last year over $40,000 and more than 35,000 kilometers driving our tiny home on wheels all the way from Sydney to Western Australia. All to arrive to a place we've been looking forward to the most in this trip. X Mouse is a 13 hour drive or a two hour flight from Perth and is the gateway to the World Heritage listed Ningaloo Marine Park, the world's largest fringing reef. We're going to show you everything from saving people's lives, diving with the largest sharks in the world. Today is the day. Are you ready? I can't wait. <laughs> they found it. They found some. And what life is like for us living with two cats in a van. Come explore X Mouse with us. Then it's to us. Bon dia, amigos! In this episode, we are going to explore the west side of Exmouth. We checked into Yadi Homestead last night. We're gonna give you a tour when we're back there tonight. And we're gonna explore parts of the Ningaloo Marine Park today. Oh, and we also booked the whale shark dive for tomorrow. I'm so excited for this. I think Danny's probably more excited than I am. They're the biggest fish in the ocean! Yeah, like this is gonna be crazy. And you're like in the open ocean. Yeah. Like there's no cage. No cage. <laughs> You're out there with them. She has not stopped talking about it. It's been on her bucket list since before starting this trip. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait. But before tomorrow, we have a whole day planned today for snorkeling. And the first stop for today is at Torquay's Bay. Let's go. Quick little stop before getting to Torquay's Bay. There was a group of French tourists that were on the side of the road. They had a flat tire. So we're able to stop, ask for a compressor. We had one in the back, so we were able to help them out, which was nice. They were super grateful that we stopped. And I said, look, if I was in the same situation, I would want someone to stop too. It's good karma. Okay, made it to Torquay's Bay. We're gonna block all the windows to keep the vent nice and cool. Okay, let's get our flippers, sunscreen. Woohoo! And go find some sharks, turtles, and fishes. Turtles, 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 turtles. So here at Torquay's Bay is that you jump in at one point and then you're meant to drift down depending on the current to another point. So you just kind of hang in the water and drift down. Torquay's Bay, we are coming for you. <laughs> As we walked down to the beach, a woman came up to us and asked for help because a man was having a heart attack not too far away from us. When we reached the man, two people with medical training were already helping him. He appeared to be in a bad state. He was very pale and breathing heavy. It was a scary situation. A few more people who also had medical training came to assist and we did our best to help by holding umbrellas to keep him out of the sun. After waiting there for about an hour, the ambulance finally arrived and Wade helped carry the man in a chair to the ambulance. We are just back in the van after snorkeling here at Torquay's Bay. Amazing. What a place. What a place. Probably our favorite place snorkeling that we've been to so far. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up finding three turtles. Well, Danny found all of the turtles. <laughs> And, and we saw a stingray as well, which was pretty it damn was cool. It was huge. Massive. We are just about to have some lunch. We had some chicken and veg planned, but I just don't feel like cooking. Yeah, so we're gonna have some wraps with everything that we can find in the van. Yeah, just it's make... like lettuce, tomato, avocado, cheese. I think that's it. And then whatever else we can kind of find and put together and throw onto a wrap. Okay, this is a bit of a sad lunch. It's a bit of a funny one. I don't think anything that is in here kind of talk to each other. No. But it's vegetarian. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, this That's is fine. yours. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to taste. I've mm. had worse. <laughs> <laughs> lunch is over. Where are we off to? Yadi Creek. We only found out about this place last night. The guy in the campsite took the boat out into Yadi Creek. You can go all the way up Yadi Creek. There's no no motors allowed. He's like, if you take your stand-up paddleboard, get out there and you got all the animals. But we had no idea about this place. Then it's to us. Here we are, we've arrived at this lake area. We are gonna grab the paddleboard and go up this lake. It looks beautiful. I'm looking forward to get up here. It's gonna be a bit of a paddle for us. You ready to go? So I found out why motor vessels are not allowed in okay. here. It's because this is home to the endangered rock wallaby so hopefully we see some <laughs> this is gonna be cool okay let's pump up this paddle board i wish this took as quick as it did for you guys this is hard work every time and we have a double pump but we got there let's go okay we're in the water we're ready to go this place looks amazing the colors of this rock and now we're on the lookout <laughs> for rock wallabies goanas and osprey and osprey and if anything wants to show up, 
Sure, why not? And we're, we're kind of lucky at the moment that we can just chill when the wind and the current's taking us down. The problem will be coming back. Yeah, save your energy. <laughs> but this is very cool. Pretty cool, but I'm feeling exhausted. Let's go back to Yadi. Yep, yep. Set up camp. Because tomorrow we're doing something very exciting. The way you shine. There we are. <laughs> Bomb in here. Okay, got you. Okay. Opa. Opa. You okay, buddy? We are back into camp, showered, cleaned. Now we're just gonna have some dinner. I'm starving, we barely ate today. Yeah, our lunch was a bit me. And then I think we go into bed early because we're both exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> today is the day. Are you ready? I can't wait! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this bag ready. We are taking. Jumpers for later, clean clothes and dry for later, towels, sunscreen, GoPro, three batteries, seasickness tablet, lip balm with protection, sunglasses. We're good to go. The cats are staying in the van while we go on the tour, so to make sure they are safe, we cover all of the windows of the van with an insulated blockouts to keep them cool inside. We also switch on three fans, ensure they have plenty of fresh water, and their litter box is accessible and clean. We are doing our whale shark dive tour with the guys at Three Islands. We got picked up at 7.50 a.m. and drove 40 minutes to the boat ramp. Then we jumped onto a smaller boat that took us to the main tour boat where they told us what to expect for the day, prepped us with our snorkeling gear and ran us through safety procedures. Excited or yeah. I'm just excited for now. <laughs> I hope we see a big one. It would be nice if the sun came out. We started with a short snorkeling session to try out equipment and so they could see our level of snorkeling. Unfortunately, we didn't see many animals in this snorkel. We then waited at the front of the boat while the spotter plane was searching for the whale sharks. Okay. It's time. Okay. They, found it. they found it. They found some. So back in the bus, this day was amazing, incredible. I do this every day of my life. <laughs> but now, now we're back to see our babies. Hopefully they're okay inside the van yeah, alone. We'll I think see. so. It wasn't that hot of a day today. Yeah. I don't think it was past 30. And it was very cloudy the whole day, yeah, so I'm I sure think. they are fine. Thank you so much for watching another one of ours. We'll see, see you guys soon. Oi, buddy. Oi. Oh. I love her. Let's see what Gatinha's up to. Oi, Gatinha. <laughs> <laughs> 